Hi, Brat Kindergartners. It's Mrs. B and Cherry, and I'm here to talk to you today about another smart reading strategy, one that will help us if we get stuck on a word. Something we're going to do today is called looking for word families. So when we are stuck on a word, one strategy we can try looks just like this. If you remember your strategy cards that you have, this is the one that tells us we can look for word families. A word family is a group of words that all have the same spelling pattern. Just like people of the same family live in a house together, when you have a word family, all the parts are the same. So now let's look at a word family we know together, at. If we look at all the words in this house, they're all going to have the same word family at. Let's start with the first one, b, at. That's right, that. Let's look at the second one. M, at, mat. Let's look at the next one. Full, at, flat. V, at, that. And the last one, s, at, sat. All of those words have the word family at in them. So here are some of the word families we can find in words. If we start with the first row across, those are all the parts or the word families that start with that short A sound, a. Ah. There's at, app, and an. Let's move down one row. The short E makes the eh sound. We have ed, n, and et. The next row across has the I. The short I says I, it, in, and ip. The next row has the O, that O, A, octopus. So the word families we have are op, at, and ox. And the last row across has the short U sound to start. A, uh, umbrella, for ug, up, and ut. Now, let's try sorting with two different word families. The first house has the ut word family. The second house has the in word family. So let's start and let's put all the words into the right family. Let's start with our first word, pin. I hear in, I, N. So it's going to go in the in word family. Let's try the next one, nut. I hear ut, so that means it goes with the ut sound, U-T. Then we go with the word cut. You got it, U-T. And the word hut. There's another one with that ut sound, so that goes with U-T. And now we have the word shut. I hear that ut again, three in a row, U-T. Next is the word spin. I hear the in sound, I-N-N. -N. Last, to left, win, in. That's right, I-N. And last, we have the word twin. Twin would go with the I-N word family again. You did a great job doing that. Give yourselves a pat on the back.
Now let's read a short text together. The name of this text is Rain. I play in the sun showers. I like it when it rains. I like to run through the puddles. Splash, splash. Now, let's try to find two words with the word family un in them. Can you do it with me? Let's take a look back at the text. Yes, there's one when we read I play in the sun showers. The word sun has the un or un word family in it. Now let's see if we could find another one. Did you find it? Let's try and find it together. It's the word run. That's right. I like to run through the puddles. So there are two words that I used the word family un to help me figure out in this text. Let's try it again with another short text. The name of this short text is Pulling Strawberries. I think that this little girl went strawberry picking. I think that she needs to pull something. It looks like the wagon. I can pull this wagon. Look at me. I pull my wagon down the path. I am going home with my strawberries. I hope I like them. Yum. Now, let's go back and see if we can find a word with the an word family. That's right. A-N says an. And there's a word that has that in it. And when we find it, we know that it's going to help us read that word. You got it. It's the word k and can. That is what helped me when I saw that word family and in the word can, I knew that I could figure that out. Now, let's give it a try reading a book together. We can use word families we know to help us figure out some words in the next book. Are you ready to give it a try with me? Let's get started. Now, we're going to read a book together. I know, it's my favorite part too. Looking for dinner. And you can tell by looking at the cover that there's a picture of a kitten on there. Well, in this story, we're going to use our word families to help us. And if I get stuck on a word, I'm going to see if there's a word family that I know in that word to help me. Let's get started. I am hungry, said the... Hmm, I'm stuck. I see the letter L, so I'm going to get my mouth ready for that first sound, O. Oh, and I think I see a word family I know. I see I-T, I-T says it. O little, little, and the last word, kitten. The last word, kitten, also has it. The little kitten looked and looked for food. He looked and looked and looked. The little kitten looked in the basket. No food in here, he said. The little kitten looked in the... Hmm, I don't know. I'm kind of stuck on that word. I think I see a spelling pattern for a word family that I know in there. UP says up, and there's a C at the beginning. I'm gonna go back. 
the little kitten looked in the cup. No food in here, he said. The little kitten looked in the, looks like it might be a sack, but there is a vowel in there, that A, and I know that that A says A, ah, so I can try to put the B at the beginning, B, AG, the word family, AG, is in that word, BAG. The little kitten looked in the bag. No food in here, he said. The little kitten looked and looked and looked for food. I am hungry, said the little kitten. Oh, here is some food for me, said the little kitten. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. Do you think that was a good idea? Do you think that's a good thing for the kitten to eat? The fish that was in the bowl? I think he should try some cat food instead. That would probably be a much better idea. So remember, kindergarten readers, looking for word families is another smart strategy that you can use if you are stuck on a word. I miss all of you, and I can't wait until the day we can all see each other again soon. But until then, keep on reading.